everybody, welcome back to the Air and Space. Ooh, it's chilly, there's a nip in the air in Southern California, and I love it. it. Puts me in such a good, festive, not holiday, we're not skipping from Halloween to Christmas. We are celebrating this month, the month of November and fall. I'm very, very excited. But this weather definitely puts me in that kind of a mood uh, to celebrate it. But anyway, we have a great trip in store today. We're doing like a little local uh, road trip, day trip, up into the mountains, past Pasadena, up kind of by Big Bear and Lake Arrowhead, but not that as far into the mountains. It's a little town nestled kind of in the base of the mountains out there. Um, very excited. Uh, when I was Googling, just kind of like, what can you do for fall in the Los Angeles area? This little town came up, Oak Glen. Oak Glen, California. I'm coming at you. But they're supposed to have like apples and pumpkins and just a, a very east coast, which is where I'm from, Boston, uh, vibe and feel. So we're going to go up there. We're going to check it out. We're going to have some lunch. I'm very excited. It's Saturday. It's 9 a.m. I'm going to go get some Starbucks coffee. I've got my baby Yoda beanie. Life's good, y'all. Life's good in the hood as we celebrate November. Not Christmas. It's not Christmas yet. Oak Glen. That's where we're going. Whoops. What did I do? Oh, it's okay. We're heading to this little, little part right here. We are somewhere over here. Let's see, let's do this. Oak Glen, California. Oh look, apples, apples, I see apples. One hour, 33 minutes, that's a perfect Saturday morning road trip. It's an unincorporated community. I don't know what that means, we'll have to Google that. Here we go, drive, 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 dribbity drive. One hour, 34, there's the route. Let's go y'all. Well, first though, Starbucks. At the lights, turn right onto East Burbank Boulevard, then turn left to merge onto I-5 South. Starbucks and I think we're about halfway there. I just got onto the third freeway of this trip um, and it said it's going to be, I'm on this stretch of this freeway now for about 40 miles. So I think all in all it's going to be just under an hour and a half to get out there, which really isn't too bad. But I just have been trying to, and I don't know if it's going to come out or not, it's just such a pretty drive. I mean, you're on a highway, so you're with traffic, but constantly to the left, the mountains which I believe are the San Bernardino Mountains. They just keep getting bigger and bigger. Of course, when I'm talking about it, that wall popped up. But, ooh, they're some right in front of us now. Yeah, the mountains, because we are heading up towards Big Bear and Lake Arrowhead, which are two really nice, popular ski resort locations. So they're in the mountains. These are like legit mountains. But they just keep getting prettier and prettier as I drive farther away from proper Los Angeles. So yeah, I just wanted to do a quick check-in. Everything's been going great. Like I said, nice sunny day, chilly. Podcasts are flowing. Coffee is good. And uh, hopefully we're gonna be hitting a nice little New England-y East Coast looking town um, pretty shortly here. So stay tuned. Oh my God, there's like a, there's a deer crossing, but also a bear crossing sign. Guys, if we see a bear, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we have now crossed over into the full mountain side of the road. So it says we're about three miles from the actual town of Glen Oak, but the signs keep saying that there's like apple orchards and stuff going to be all along the way. Oak Glen Road. We're sticking on Oak Glen Road. Yes. Yes, we're staying on. Oh, my ears are popping. We're not even up and in the mountains yet. But yeah, we're about three miles. Oh, I think that's an apple orchard right there. We're about three miles from the actual Oak Glen town? City? No, it's not a city. Town, I guess. Area? Area. Oak Glen area. And it's already super duper pretty and windy. So I'm gonna have to put this camera down and focus on the road. And also, 
we saw our sign for possible bear crossings. So if there's a bear, I'm pulling this camera out no matter how windy the road is. We have made it to our final destination of the little town of Oak Glen. I just kind of came up on that side of the mountains, literally drove through it and now I'm on the other side. So I found this little overpass with gorgeous, gorgeous mountain views. Ah, oh, it's so pretty up here. But anyway, I kind of drove through it and <laughs> there's a lot. I probably passed about three or four apple orchards. Uh, one of them just had a straight on, just like a uh, fair going on with like a bunch of pop-up, like a farmer's market fair with pop-up tents. There were ice cream shops and I don't know, there's just like a lot of cool stuff. So I think the plan for today is to turn around here, get the car right there, we're gonna turn around and we're literally just gonna drive through and I'm gonna try to stop at each one and just check it out. It looks so fall, so festive, so November. It looks very November-y. Um, and I'm just really, it's really, I'm excited to be here. Oak Glen, California. Uh, apparently a lot of people know about it though because it looks pretty crowded. The crowds were definitely here. So we'll just uh, take our time, pass back through, pass around, see what we can get up to, see what we can pop into. Definitely gonna get another coffee. Um, I definitely want, if I can find, I saw signs for apple cider donuts. Definitely want one of those. And just have a good old fashioned fall Saturday in the mountains. We're in the mountains and that makes me really happy. And again, this was about an hour and a half outside of Los Angeles. So if you're coming out here in the fall months for vacation and you're hitting up all the theme parks and stuff, maybe take a day and just come up and explore what else is around LA because this is really beautiful and cool. So let's go find out what we can get up to in the town of Oak Glen, California. So we are at the first stop of the day, which is Riley's Farm. And I'm legit in the middle of an apple orchard. <laughs> <laughs> I got my bag. I don't know if we're actually going to pick any because to be honest, their apples are kind of looking a little rough in this section. There's some sort of free to lay um, special event happening today. So like the big barn area of here is closed and I think a couple of the other orchards are closed. So I've just made my way through this like mini orchard area and then a nice lady told me that they do have stuff down below here so i'm gonna go check that out but yeah we're at riley's orchard in oak glen and it, even if i don't end up picking any apples it's still cool that um that i'm in an apple orchard right now y'all i'm in an apple orchard there's some there's some baby apples they don't look that bad actually maybe we'll pick some on our way out here to pick apples because they had me park not far but kind of like up the hill and then I walked back down through the apple orchard then I got to this little area down here and there's like an entire restaurant a little wine and beer garden and they're having some sort of an event today where it is uh, revolutionary war people I saw people throwing tomahawk axes people doing um like blacksmith work in the back and there's like a little band playing. They were just playing that song from the Titanic when the Titanic crashes, which was a little bit of an odd mood setting, but you know. So I totally got lunch. I got a chicken pot pie and some fresh squeezed apple cider and both are absolutely delicious. So Riley's Farm, if you're driving by and it looks like it's really crowded, they have plenty of parking, but if they do send you up to park by the apple orchards, make sure you walk back down because down here is where all the cool stuff is. Well, the apples were cool, but this is really cool and it is pretty crowded, but it's also a gorgeous, gorgeous fall, not Christmas, fall, autumn day. So I'm gonna eat my chicken pot pie, five out of five, gets the Aaron's chef kiss of review and then continue up the Oak Glen Road to our next destination. At some point in the day, donuts and ice cream are going to happen, but for now, it's chicken pot pie and fresh squeezed apple cider. And I could not be happier. Oh, the band's back. 
I don't know this one. Like, holy guacamole. This chicken pot pie is legit. The flaky pastry crust that I'm darn tootin' sure they cooked, like, right inside over here at their bakery. It's so good. Oh, I'm so happy. The privies. We have traveled up the road literally about, I don't know, one or two minutes past. They had, um, Riley's had other little things, including like a wedding place you could go to if you wanted to do event planning. So, past that, the next stop is this place called the Homestead. So, this looks, this actually just from driving in and like parking, reminds me of the shopping plazas in uh, Hawaii when I was in Oahu last year. They had all these like side of the road country stops with little restaurants and coffee shops. Um, and this one looks just like one of the ones I went to in Oahu, which spoiler alert, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We will be making a triumphant return to Oahu later this month. So make sure you're uh, liking and subscribing. But anyway, present moment. Uh, living in the now, Zen meditation, we're gonna pop into the homestead and see what they have. But yeah, Glen Oak, she is not disappointing. This is exactly what I was looking for on this November fall day. <laughs> I misspoke. It was not called Homestead. Homestead is next door and it looks like it event, again is like events and weddings and stuff like that. This little place was called Wilshire's Apple Shed. Established 1945 and it had a wood pizza place. It had a coffee shop. It had hard cider tasting and creations. It had a gift shop. It was soups dupes cute. I ended up getting a nice cold brew, which was delicious. And then I actually just sat for a little bit. They had this little, um, little like seating area inside with armchairs and a little sofa and like cool, a cool like little giant game area. So I kind of like hung out there with my cold brew and a water, but oh my gosh, super cute. Wilshire's Apple Shed. Make sure after you go to Riley's to have your chicken pot pie, stop at Wilshire's and get your cold brew or cider. And if you didn't have your chicken pot pie, you could get the brick oven pizzas look divine. Okay, we're already at our next place. We drove up the road again about a minute and we're at another, it looks like an apple picking place. We may, oh, I was gonna say we may bypass, but this has a botanic garden, Los Rios Rancho country store. I don't know, we gotta reconnoiter this and see if we're gonna go in here too. We stopped. Of course we stopped. It's apple picking day. It's fall festival day. It's festivals in general day. So this one was again, all of them, if you start at one end or the other of this road, I think every two or three minutes you're going to find some sort of an apple orchard or restaurant or coffee shop. By the way, my cold brew from the last one is delicious. Um, but yeah, we stopped at this one, Los Ranchos. I'll film it when we get down there. Those ranchos, I think. But this one looks huge, and I think there might be an actual fair going on here. So let's go lotion up. We gotta put some sunscreen on because it's very sunny. Hydrate up, and then go walk to the country fair in the middle of the mountains. Let's go.
Los Rios, Rios, the prior apple orchard tour I'm at right now. That one actually had, I think, the best apples to be picked. I think we're gonna have to do a ranking of all the different apple orchards because some have had better actual orchard orchards if you want to go out or orchards, orchards, if you want to go out and actually pick apples. But some have had better entertainment, shops, snacky snacks. The one I'm at right now, Snow Lime, Snow Ridge, again, it'll be in the pictures. This one had what we were on the hunt for today. It's also very crowded and I'm gonna have to pull out in two seconds or someone's gonna honk at me. But we got our mini donuts, y'all. We got our mini donuts and they're really good. So uh, yeah, stay tuned to the end of the video. We're gonna do a little bit of a ranking. destination which I also think looks to maybe even be the biggest one although actually these have all been huge all of these locations have been big and like I said they've all had their own little unique um, things that were better than not better but just different some were better for different things and we're gonna do our ranking when we get to the end but we're at the last at least for me the last stop so a couple more really small ones if you keep heading down the loop but it's about 215 I've had a chicken pot pie, a hot cocoa, I've had two coffees, and I've had my apple cider donuts. So honestly, I'm ready to put on my Taylor Swift Evermore album, drive back to LA, and then probably take a nap with my cat. Ooh, what a fantastic Saturday in fall, celebrating fall, all the wonders. The last place we were just at, the snow line, I did like that there you could really see some of the leaves that had changed color into like really pretty reds and oranges. I'm from the East Coast, so I like to see the leaves change. So that was cool. But this one looks more like a giant shopping plaza, but I also saw that they have ice cream and I'm gonna finish off the day of treats and relaxation and being in the mountains with some ice cream. Let's go, let's go check out this last stop on our extravaganza apple orchard, spending the day in the mountains, does it abide good Saturday. Yeah, that's a lot, but I like it. All right, this is our last stop of the day, Oak Tree Mountain. And this is like a legit, now I feel like I'm in like Arrowhead. Or actually, um, what's the other one that's up in the, Idlewild. This looks like Idlewild. But uh, yeah, let's go uh, walk around Oak Tree Mountain Plaza area, see what we can get up to. Maybe I can't have any more coffee, but I could have some ice cream. Let's go.
cool they have all these like little signs out i mean they are like super cheesy motivational signs but i don't know up here in the mountains it kind of makes sense and i like it they also have axe therapy across over here which is amazing and they just had a little band playing down here they got barbecue going up here this is a good uh, final stop on the orchid tour Orchard. Why do I keep saying orchid? On the orchard tour. It's only $5 for axe therapy. It's way cheaper than an LA therapist, yo. Yes, we have found the ice cream. Milk Smith Ice Creamery. There's a candy shop there too. So I think we're gonna go through the candy shop and then get some ice cream. This whole final area though, Oak Tree Mountain Plaza, you gotta stop. It's a little touristy, a little gimmicky, but it's also gorgeous and beautiful and really fun. So I think the way we did it today was a good pattern, starting where we started and then ending here. But again, we'll do a little recap and ranking when we get back into LA proper. But for now, candy, ice cream, ice cream, candy. Ice cream, chillin', cookies and cream, Ooh, with a view. It's cookies and cream with a view. Oh, I was telling you, this could not have been a more perfect fall, November day. Not Christmas, fall, November. And this is the perfect way to end it in the mountains. Went to three or four, four, four different places. Saw lots of fall stuff, cute shops, good food. The mountains, man, hour and a half from LA. You gotta do it. All right, we're gonna finish this. Probably pop in a couple other shops. Then uh, hit the road back to LA. I'll see you in Burbank. All right, everybody, we are back. We are no longer in the mountains, but oh my goodness gracious. What an amazing Saturday morning and afternoon. It was about an hour and a half drive, right past, kind of like Pasadena area, you go up into the mountains, not quite up as far as like Big Bear and like Arrowhead, but Oak Glen, apple picking, pumpkin growing, fruit picking. I had donuts, I had cider, I had hot chocolate. It was a fantastic fall day. Um, like I said before, you can't really, I wouldn't really rank the or orchards that I went to or the places I went to against each other because there were pros and cons to each one. But I feel like the way that we did it today, the little route that we took was the best because we started off at the big Riley one where we had our chicken pot pie, grabbed some lunch there. Then I went to the little stop right after that. Whist I believe it was Whistler's. So I got my little coffee, a little pick me up after lunch. Then after that was, it was connected to Riley. It was like the Los Rialtos. That was the giant apple orchard. If you're gonna go picking apples, that seemed to be the one to, um, to hit up and go to and it was connected to the Riley. So they're all that, those, that whole section right there seemed pretty interconnected, but that was the best one for apple picking. A little change of scenery there, our battery died, but in perfect timing, because we're home. But anyway, I had my delicious apple cider donuts and <coughs> excuse me, and hot cocoa from the third place that we stopped at. That was really good. And then, no, that was the fourth place. We stopped at Riley's for chicken pot pie. Then we had our, our, our coffee at the little Whistler's place. Then we went to the apple orchards, that the Los Rialtos that Riley is connected to. Then we stopped at the Snow Line orchard. Oh, my baby boodle. He missed me all day, I think. Hey, buds. At, anyway, distraction. Oh. I'm always distracted by this guy. Hey, buddy. Did you have a good day without us? Us being me? The air in space? What's up, Toodlebutt? What's up? Oh, hello. You saying hi? 
Well, hello. Hi. <laughs> anyway, then we finished it up at the Oak Oak Glen Mountain, the Oak Glen Mountain, which was like the big shopping area, an outdoor fair. What a cool little place. But anyway, I'm, I had the best time. I highly recommend going up there. Maybe don't see them all in one day like I did, but that's how I roll. Um, I would definitely go up and just spend a little bit of time, a little bit more time at each one or pick one and go to it, get some lunch. Uh, I didn't actually pick any apples, but again, I'm from the East Coast and we used to do that a lot. So, the, but if I was going to, it would be that the third one that we stopped at. But it was a fun day, and I really hope you had a good time coming around with us. <laughs> He's going to, uh, it's neighborhood watch time. Uh, yeah, but it was really fun. So thank you so much for being here. I really appreciated it. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe think about subscribing to the channel. We have a lot of fun stuff coming up for the rest of the month of November, pre-Christmas, celebrating fall, celebrating November. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much for being here. And as always, I... And my cat Taz, Tazzlebutt, yeah, 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 Tizzle Taz. We will catch you in the errand space. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. Oh, yo, 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 yo.